Hey, my name is Soko and this is a quick video just to announce that the NVIDIA GeForce Experience Shadow Play screen recorder has finally come to us laptop owners in beta. It's been in beta for quite a while now on desktops on I believe the GTX 600 Series Plus, although I could be wrong there, um, but they've uh, held it back from laptops uh, for whatever reason, but they've finally released it now for us. And I'm really excited about this, I'm really, really excited about this. Um, so the first reason is it's free. So, you know, it's fantastic news. So if you're in a GeForce card, uh, I believe it's 600 plus on laptops, uh, it's completely free. You'll find it in GeForce Experience, which is here. You'll find that in the toolbar. There we go. Uh, I believe this button used to be grayed out, but you can now click it and it will come up with this little menu here. Um, so the second reason why, so, why I'm so excited about this, and it's the main reason, is the, ma it's the way it works. Now, um, Fraps takes, or sorry, <laughs> screen recorders, although I use Fraps, takes up a huge amount of resources from the computer uh, when it tries to um, record the footage of games. Now, if you've got a really powerful desktop computer with a large GPU, large processor, etc., it's not much of a problem. It's not going to affect you that much. But when you're using a laptop where you really want all the power you can get, having something take the resources away from you is really frustrating, especially if you, like me, do videos on gaming performance. So this little application, so the Shadow Play, takes up no resources. It, it's all handled by the GPU, so the frame rate is not affected. Um, so for me for doing my game performance videos as well as let's plays it's really exciting news um anyway away from that said so you can do your own reading if you want to look into the actual um, technicality of why how and how it works but in regards to setting it up it's extremely simple um you've got four main options here mode shadow time quality and audio and this turns it on or, or off uh, i've just turned it on before i started recording that opens up where your videos are and that's preferences but I want to quickly talk about the two main recording, manual or shadow. So manual you'll all be aware of, so you press Alt F9 to record and you'll press Alt F9 to stop recording. The way shadow works is shadow continually records footage and when you press Alt F10 it will save the last 20 minutes of footage that you just did. Now why this is really exciting is say you're playing a game like Battlefield 4 or FIFA or whatever game, you know, League of Legends, whatever game you play, in the past you may have done something really, really amazing, you know, gone on a 20, uh, 20 killing streak or whatever. Uh, if you didn't actually record it, you've lost it. Uh, whereas this, because it continually records, you always have that footage so you can then, you know, open it, edit it, uh, upload it to the internet, send it to your friends, you know, whatever you want to do. So that's really, really exciting. Um, shadow time uh, sh uh, basically calculates or not calculates you can set how long you wanted to save footage for by standard so one minute is f well depends on the quality it uh, affects the size which I'll show you in a second um, I want 20 minutes and it's 7.5 gigs which is nothing really if you think that most games um, are about you know are about 25 gig plus so quality is your um, well qu quality of footage really so I'm not sure if it's relates to 1080p, so I believe high is 1080p, medium is probably about 720 and low is maybe 4, 480, I think the setting is. Uh, and if you put it onto low, you can see how it affects the uh, storage. So quality on low, 20 minutes, only 2.3 gigs. High is 7.5 gigs. And the last thing I want to talk about is the audio. So as I said, really simple. You either record only the in-game audio you can, can record the in-game and microphone, like my voice, which you're hearing now, or you can turn off all audio. Uh, that's mainly for people who want to say narrate over footage uh, or you know do whatever they want to do at a later date, put music over, that kind of thing. So really simple to use. As, as I said, it's completely free and available now.